Dashi Vlogs, this is uh, Our Church at Halloween Story RPG. Our Church at St Halloween RPG Story 3. I think, yeah, that's right. Yes, I said it correctly. Uh, this is a review of that of, of that game that I just said before. I don't want to say it again because I'll mess it up. Uh, Our Church at Halloween RPG Story 3 review. Okay, there we go. I managed to say it, I think, correctly. All right, this game is pretty good. It's a Bible game. It's an RPG. The first two stories, they're, they're all a dollar each. Um, the first two stories were um, not really RPGs. They were more like little retro walking simulators. The second one sort of simulated an RPG better by having some fake fights in it. But this one has actual fights in it. So um, you run around, you fight ghosts, and you, you, can, you have healing items and everything, and you can get hit, you can get damaged, and you can die. I haven't ever died yet, though, but I'm, I'm kind of curious what happens when you die. Um, anyway, uh, I'll figure that out at some point. Um, shoot. Maybe I should have figured that out before I made my review. Um, yeah, fuck it. Actually, forget it. This is not a review. This is a test of what happens when you die. So, never mind. Uh, ignore the part where I said this was a review. We're going to figure out what happens when we die. Let's, see, let's go die. Okay, um, even though I'm trying to see what happens when I die, I'm still using the slingshot because um, in order to get hit, I need to, um, I need to, um, in order to get to get killed, I need to, um, well, in order to get killed, I need to do, take an action, and so that means I have to attack, I, like I can't, I, I have to either attack or use an apple, and if I eat an apple, then I definitely not die. I also would ha wonder what would happen if I ran out of apples. I guess I'd probably just only have the option of using the slingshot. That's another thing to test. I think I'll die first and then I'll test what happens when I lose the apples. So, okay, this is not a, um... This is not a, uh... I'm just trying to get to the boss because I think the boss could actually kill me, like, a little bit better than these guys can. So this is not actually a, um, a review video, it's just a, a test, I, I said that already, but yeah, um, I'm just testing what happens when I die in this game. Uh, I feel like I, 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 I can't make a proper review unless I know what happens if you die. I guess I can test out the saving as well. So I can save right before I'm gonna die. I think I'll save before I fight the boss. Okay, let's let's just write this down real quick. Okay, oh six two nine oh seven oh three two one seven. Okay. 0629070317 Okay, cool. Uh, okay, got it. So, um, I'll be able to type that in if I die here. I don't think I will die here, though. I'll probably ha I'll probably die fighting the other boss. But you never know. This boss might kill me. I think it stands at least a chance of killing me. Nah, I don't think he has much of a chance of killing me. Yeah, it has no chance of killing me. But the next boss will definitely kill me. Only because I wanted to, but still. Still counts. I think this game could actually be challenging, like, to a, a child or something. That's kind of interesting. I mean, it's, it's not quite a proper RPG, really, with, like, a, a level leveling system or items or equipment or anything like that. But, um, you know, it's close enough. Okay. I could fight these ghosts 
here, but um, I think it's not worth it because the ghosts would actually heal me when I fight them. So, best to just go straight to the boss. I have to fight this one though. This one didn't heal me. I did. I did lose only a few hit points fighting this one, but some some of them actually wind up healing me. This one though, I did. I did actually wind up uh, winning with less hit points than I started with, but only a few less. Beating the game a second time already. Okay, this time I'm actually gonna die, which is actually uh, not easy to die in this game, but I'm managing to do it. Okay, this this should kill me. Oh, I should have saved the game before I died. Well, at least I, at least I, at least I can reload the where I was. Okay, so I can test test to continue, and I can test death. Game over. He just walks off. That's funny. When you die, you just walk away. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Well, it's still it's still it's still a valid game over. I'll take it. It's I'll give him I'll give him credit. It was it's a sort of a death. I'll, I'll just call it a death. It's not. It's not much of a death, but it's a, it's a game over. It's close enough. So now I'm trying out the password system. O six two nine o seven o. Three two one. Wait. wait oh, oh. Oops. Damn it. Okay. Well, that's a problem. Okay, well, that's a problem. So I'm I'm trapped in a um in a glitch screen. I'm trapped in a glitch screen and I can't I can't leave. Hmm, that's interesting. When I hit L, I can change the way the uh, graphics look. But I'm trapped inside of a ghost or something and I can't move. So um, yeah, that's sort of a game flaw. All right, well, that's important to know. So if you accidentally type in a wrong password, you're, you're fucked. Uh, I guess I have no choice but to turn the game off now. Let's, um, let's try it again. Um, okay, uh, see you all next time.